I'm going to invite up in a moment one of my colleagues to just finish us off right here. And I'm hoping I'm going to see most of you, or many of you at least, at the awards reception tonight at 8 o'clock when we'll honor people who have fought for justice in this movement for a long time. But I do need to take a moment personally right here because one of the things, well, you know, what helps keep me going and what helps make this possible is the absolutely extraordinary bunch of people I work with at the Drug Policy Alliance. They are, I mean, off the charts, brilliant, beautiful, amazing people. I mean, many of you know them, but please, just give a shout out. You know, thank you. Thank you, DPA. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You know, I feel proud about this movement and I feel proud about my colleagues. And at this moment, I'm gonna call up one of those I'm feeling very proud about these last few days. Because when I was asking around, and saying, who was hitting it out of the park? And this young woman's name kept coming up. So Cassandra Frederic, will you come on up here? I'm standing right here. And I'll give you two reasons. The first reason was because yesterday I was on the hip hop panel and Ethan came in and said, you're too loud. And I screamed back, hip hop ain't never been quiet. <laughs> Our board president, Michael Skolnick, looked at me and was like, you might want to turn that down. I was like, sorry. And the second reason is because four years ago, I was at the Drug Policy Reform Conference in Albuquerque, New Mexico. Who remembers Albuquerque? It was an amazing time. I was a young social worker, two months into my internship at Drug Policy Alliance. And I thought y'all were crazy. I was like, what is going on? You want to legalize weed? You want to give syringes? I don't understand. This doesn't make any sense. But I'm just trying to graduate. The countdown was on my planner, and I just wanted to get out of there. Fast forward four years later, and baby, I am drug policy fabulous. Because, honey, despite what my boss Gabriel Saya says, the revolution will be luxurious. <laughs> you know you made a mistake giving me the mic, Ethan. <laughs> so I want to say thank you. I want to say thank you to everyone in this room that's been here year after year at all these drug policy reform conferences. I want to say thank you to those that have laid the foundation for our present day victories. Thank you. I want to say thank you to Carl Hart for not being scared to bring science to this conversation. I want to say thank you to Michelle Alexander for giving me the language. Y'all can clap up more for that. And I want to give a special, special, special thank you to Vocal New York for opening my heart. It's two years ago, well, four years ago, I didn't really know what this was about. And being able to work with people that are most impacted by this war on drugs has changed my life, has given me new meaning has brought me to here, to the altar for forgiveness. 
forgiving myself for the biases that I've had. So I want to say to everyone in this room, never give up on those that are against us. Because I am here because I'm reformed. So my board president, Ira Glasser, talked about this train. And Alexis, I know you're not going to sing with me because I really want to sing Gladys Knight, Midnight Train to Georgia. But I know you won't do it. So I'm going to ask, is the West Coast here? Yeah. I'm going to, I'm gonna, even though I'm from the East Coast, I'm going to give you all one more try. Is the West Coast here? Yeah. Is the South here? Yeah. Is the Midwest here? Where's the East Coast at? And most importantly in my heart, where are my young reformers? Stand up, young reformers. All of you, stand up. Because it is our time. Thank you for our foundation. But thank you, because right now it's our time, is it not? I want to get y'all ready, people, because in two years, this is going to be bigger, better, and hell yeah, a lot browner. We're going to the chocolate city of Washington, D.C. I said it's going to be bigger, it's going to be better, and it's going to be a lot browner. So everybody, can I get a clap? Can I get you to stand up? The change is here, people. Let's do this. And that was it. See you in two years.